Today I'm going to show you how to make your M4 way louder with just the use of some tape, your hands, in under five minutes. going guys Dylan from luxury lives on and I hope everyone's doing well today now since the beginning of time man has sought answers probably all started with well, objects like these either teeth bone or rock fastened to be sharp so that you could hunt and survive and well things like this well they probably didn't look like this but fire you see fire was also quite important because well it allowed you to cook that meat and, well, stay warm to survive. That didn't work. You see, there's something far more important than survival. You see, it's instinctually in our DNA. It all probably starts out in high school when, uh, well, young boys like to be a bit obnoxious and make their cars louder so they could be noticed. And, well, you may even see it in a Vons parking lot today with a guy in a 350Z. But, however, it's always been difficult to make your car louder because, well, you have to pay to get an expensive larger muffler, a resonator delete, or a catalyst downpipe, and then you have to pay a guy to install all of that. Well, I have the answer. It's called the butterfly valve, and you see modern day cars have them. What that means is basically it's a valve that opens and closes depending on what your RPMs are at. So if you're putting your foot flat, it's gonna open up and make your car loud and awesome. And if you're driving like a grandma, it's gonna close and, well, not sound like a car. Today, I'm gonna show you in a few simple steps how to make the M4 significantly louder. And well, it sounds epic. that doesn't exactly sound like an M4. First of all, the flap is closed right now. What that means is the idling is going to be a bit quieter and when you actually rev the car, it's going to limit you at 3000 RPM. So every time it's like hitting a wall, each time you rev. Now, I have to admit this butterfly valve wasn't invented to make young schoolboys excited. You see, they get excited enough already. <laughs> Basically, what it's for is sound regulation. You see a bunch of guys in overly high tight pants go to the factory floor and tell the manufacturers if they've passed or not. Yes, part of it is for drivability, but mostly it's about passing a test. Now, we're going to try and fail that test because right now I'm going to show you the first step to really opening the valve. Now, as we come in the interior, there's one really important button that starts all of this. It's this right here. Basically, you're going to want to press it once, twice to get into Sport Plus mode. And what that should do is not limit the revving anymore. You see, now we're going over 3,000 RPM. The problem is sometimes that valve doesn't stay open, so you actually have to drive the car around. So poor us, we're going to have to drive an M4. So first and foremost, we're going to put it back in that Sport Plus mode. I'm going to put it in M mode and put it in manual shifting. All right now this car is officially a monster. So guys, obviously I don't want to have to drive this M4. It's just so awful, obviously. <laughs> But uh, we have to get the flap up, and you know, someone's got to do it. Oh, this thing is all over the road. Oh, God. That would be like the worst article ever. Man crashes M4 trying to get valve open for stupid YouTube video. This really angers people, too. But basically, we're just driving it around 
to make sure it's kind of staying permanently open the flap because when you're revving it sometimes it's not enough to do it I just got back from, well, basically my joy ride. The car is warm, we've left it in all the sporty modes and we've also left it on just to make sure. I've checked, the valve actually appears open. There's the valve open right there. And basically, shine a light in there, it's gonna be like this, it's gonna look open. And uh, essentially, there's one extra step that I forgot to mention. You might need one of these. You don't have to have it in leopard or zebra like me, but basically this is good to have because, uh, well, if you wear pretentious sweaters like me, you don't want to get it dirty. Essentially, we're going to be on the left rear side of the car because there is no butterfly valve on the right side. It's just on the left side. It's actually funny. It's usually like that in a lot of these cars. And well, let's get it underneath and unplug it and I'll show you what it looks like under there. All right, so what I have right now is electrical tape, a screwdriver, and a light. All right, so we're underneath. Hopefully you can hear me with the loud exhaust on, but obviously we want to keep it on. This is the plug that we're trying to pull. So we're fooling the car, and basically this modulates the flap opening and closing. And basically when the flap's open, we're pulling it out, so no longer it will modulate it. Now essentially you want to apply this underneath here, pull it, I've already done it. And basically, you're gonna have two exposed female and male ends. Now what I like to do is actually put a little bit of tape on each end to protect it. Because you don't wanna get in dirty while you're driving. Put one here. And the last thing, I actually tuck it in here. And there you go. The flap should be open, ready to go. Let's hear what it sounds like. Alright guys, there you have it. That is how to piss your neighbors off in five simple steps. No, basically the point of this video was to show you how you could literally unlock an incredible sound in a BMW M4 in no time or effort at all. And that's what's so cool and crazy about these butterfly valves. They're on many of your cars, so investigate and see what you can do. But guys, I hope you found the video at least useful, interesting, funny. Uh, if you wanna follow me on more stuff, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, obviously YouTube. And uh, also, if you wanna see what equipment I'm using, check out the Amazon links in the description. Guys, if you liked the video, please give it a like. If you wanna see more of my content, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.